at- Hello, why are you standing out here? <laughs> oh, is- or is that Sniff? Sniff! Um, you, uh, smell singed. I'm not crying. Were you at a volcano or something? Yes, I was. I didn't think too recently, but yes, I was. I guess I haven't bathed since then. In fact, I've never bathed all game. Hmm. It looks as though that Pokemon can be found up on Route 120. What are you thinking about, Steven? Hi, you see that? I didn't even get to read your comments like I explained earlier. Even though this might be in another video. Um, but I was so confident in calling him Steven. <laughs> I want to go to the Fort Tree Gym, but something's blocking the way. After all the bother I went through training my Pokemon on Route 120. Hmm, two people just mentioned Route 120. I feel like I should go there. The ground absorbs rainwater, and the trees go by drinking that water. Our Fortree City exists thanks to our having both earth and water. Everything kind of exists thanks to having earth and water. That's just kind of a thing. Okay. Well, um, I won't bore all of you with going through- Oh! Hey, Alrun! Yo- Oh, 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 Riz! I knew we'd meet again! Yeah, I- I knew we would too, buddy. What? You don't know where you are? This is a secret base guild, of course! Huh? What do you mean you never asked? Oh, you. No need to be shy, my boy. I have a different voice, maybe. The Secret Base Guild is here to fully support everyone so they can have a Secret Base life full of adventure. We could give you hints on how to enjoy your base and items you can't get anywhere else. And best of all, coming here means that you can always meet me anytime you want. Ha <laughs> ha! You know, Riz, that reminds me. You still haven't made yourself a team, have you? No? See, a team is made up of, like, the pals that hang out in your base with you. I guess you'd call them friends, or just call them friends, but that uh, but doesn't see Team sound cooler, if I can speak? When you meet people in other bases, you can ask them to join your team. Nothing wrong with playing alone, of course, but having some pals around sure can liven up things up in your base. Maybe I'm tired. If you haven't tried it yet, I think you ought to give it a shot before you write it off. Oh yeah, you've been collecting flags. You've been collecting flags, little bow? Here at the Secret Base Guild, we assign ranks to all the teams based on how many flags they managed to get. See, the more secret bases you find and the more flags you snag, the higher you and your team will end up in the ranking. Oh, you talk a lot. Huh? You want to know why we do that? Ain't it obvious? It's more fun that way! A bit of rivalry gets everybody fired up. And doesn't it seem full of adventure to be on an endless hunt for more flags? The higher your rank gets, the richer your base life will become, you'll see. So go out there and find those flags and then bring them here to show me. So let me give a gift to my fellow base fanatic for coming so far to see me here. Riz obtained a proclamation for his base. Okay. A proclamation will let you set the battle format that will fly in your own base. There are lots of decorations with special and cool effects like that. Whenever you get a new bit of swag for your digs, check it out and see what it does. And enjoy the base life. Thanks, bud. Okay. As I was saying, I'm just gonna go around and check the other houses. If it's something I feel that's significant, I'll show you. If not, we'll skip ahead. Well, I got a stairs from my base for talking to this girl. It's kind of significant. My house is on the tree, so maybe I should build a secret base by the sea. Maybe you should. Hmm, and this girl here wants to trade you her skitty for your spinda. In case you guys are curious, I feel like I already have a skitty, don't I? Pretty, I feel like I do. So, no. Okay, this house is just weird. Are you okay? People, Pokemon. Their hidden powers are awakened by living in natural environments. Let this old woman see if your hidden power has awakened. Let's see, I hold a coin in my hand. Now tell me which hand holds the coin, the right hand or the left? Well, the right hand, obviously. You are correct! Ha ha! Obviously the right. Whoa! And why would it be three rights in a row, right? I am magical! Unless it just always does that. That was kind of cool, though. Cool, well, there's hidden power. Is this secret power? Oh, that's what it is. Um, sure. Show me what Chispas is. Because why not? Is it grass? Water. Oh. How very interesting. So that is this middle house, I guess? Yeah, in the middle house. So if you wanted to check that out for yourself, go right ahead. This is the one right above the gym place. Hello, hello. Um, Pokedex. Yes, it is awesome. Um, yes, Steven. Yes. 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 Yes? Oh, okay. So then, yeah, Steven, champion. I mean, I knew Steven was the champion. I remembered that much from Ruby, and I remembered that he looked like this other character. I uh, just wasn't sure. The reason that I wasn't sure, going back to how I questioned whether Steven was Steven, um, was because I started picturing in my head that his name was, like, Dewey or something. 
but that's just because I was supposed to send, you know, like, deliver something to him, um, in Duford. Like, hadn't occurred to me at the time, but that's why. So, am I at Route 120 yet? It's... I am. Okay, well, I kind of just want... Oh. Steven, where did you go? Steven! Steven, I'm trying to help you! Come to me! Oh, hey, Steven, what's up? Hmm? That's right, I am here. Riz? So, we meet again. How has it been? Have you been using the Mega Bracelet wisely? You kind of, I used it once and it died! <laughs> I suppose I needn't even ask, though. Not when it comes to you and your team. Yeah, my team, not Latios. <laughs> I wonder, have you noticed? Hmm? There's something here you can't see. Is it a Kegleon? Now, if I were to use this device on the invisible obstacle... No, no. Rather than describing it, I should just show you. That should be more entertaining. Riz, are you and your Pokémon ready for battle? Yeah. Good. In that case, I want you to take this. Try it on. I'm sure it will fit you. Okay. Is it goggles? Kind of. Riz slipped the Devon Scope on. Oh, that's what the Devon Scope looks like, at least in this game. Okay. Here's the thing, then. Why is it... Why was it invisible? You know, I heard... We read the Pokedex, like, just earlier, and it said that everything but the stripe can blend in. So we should have been seeing, like, a floating red stripe. Right? I'm not wrong. I'm not wrong. Don't you dare say that. Okay. But I guess now we're fighting a Kecleon. I don't know if there's anything special about it. I already have a Kecleon. I think I'll just kill it. Bye, Kecleon! I mean, you know, when we actually do enough damage to it by Kecleon. Ow. That kind of hurt. Alright, switching! Now's the perfect time to show off my Mega Evolution, right? I mean, the Kecleon is right now a flying type because of its ability. Steven's right there, asking me about the Mega Bracelet and my team. And we still haven't seen it together. We might have seen it separately, but not together, have we? No, no we have not. So, we're going to Mega Evolution, Mega Evolve rather, and Discharge, because it looks awesome. Maybe it won't look as cool, but we'll, we'll see. Alright, Chiefs, but well, let's do this! You see, he's just, he's just giant spikes everywhere! <laughs> I don't know, I feel like if the spikes were toned down, then it could be cool. But with how big they are, it's just kind of goofy looking to me. Again, uh, I always say this, if you love it, more power to you! To me, it's goofy looking. But, you know, shorten those spikes and just have it be like spikes down his back. Suddenly really cool looking, you know. Just as I expected. That's called a Devon Scope. It's a fantastic piece of tech that lets you see Pokemon in hiding. Consider it a gift from me. Take it. Riz obtained the Devon Scope. Here's another thing. You know how the Kecleon became startled because it was no longer invisible and then it attacked us? Does the Devon Scope render invisible Pokemon, like, no longer invisible? Or do you just see invisible things looking through it? Because if you only see invisible things looking through it, then you should... It shouldn't have been startled. Even if it actually did make it not invisible, should it really have been startled? Because to itself, it probably looked pretty normal, right? I don't know. And one more thing. Riz obtained a Blaziken-ite! How did you know? He knew I had a Blaziken in the making. This stone ranks as one of my top five favorite stones in existence. Wow. Thanks, then. I have no doubt that your Pokémon will like it, too. Especially your Combusken, when he evolves into a Blaziken. Blazikenite. You know, Riz, I like to see trainers in Pokémon who are trying their best. That's why I like you so much. Oh, thanks, Steven. Hmm? Seemed as though something just shone for a moment in your bag. I'm sure he senses power of some kind of stone. Is it the meteorite? Or is it that one other stone I got? A meteorite? No, it couldn't be. Oh, it was a meteorite. Let's meet again someday. Okay. Goodbye, Steven. You cryptic son of a gun, you. All right. Well, considering I have the scope now, I'm not going to bother, you know, oh, hey, look, another secret place. Continuing to go across the bridge, I want to go and fight the gym first. Nest ball. Yay, and another secret place right here! So many secret places. I knew it! You sure? I might as well just get rid of them, right? 
because why not? Hopefully there is nothing special about them, because if there is something special about them, I am wasting it, because I'm killing them. But I don't think there is. Either way, we're just gonna skip ahead. Using the Devon scope here, we find a Kecleon, right? Who would have guessed it? Oh, you fled. Oh, no battle. That was unexpected. All right, well, uh, actually I should go heal first. Heal, then the gym. Before that though, before we go in, yeah, I just want to run up and get this item, and it's TM86 Grass Knot! That'll be perfect, maybe, for Little Sap. I don't know, actually. I feel like Grass Knot was the one where it's like, it does more damage against heavier opponents, something like that, right? Hmm, I don't know. I'm gonna save really quick. Battery's still blue, that's good. So I feel like I can make it through this, and then we'll call it, yeah. So, yo, how's it going, champ to be, Riz? Fortree Gym Leader Winona is a master of flying type Pokemon. She's supposed to place my man then, not grass. She's waiting at the back of this gym behind the rotating doors. She's waiting for new challengers who are trying to take wing. Haha, <laughs> okay, go for it! I get it, you silly mister, you. Right, so I don't think that I will be using a terrible lot of um the um Mega Evolution, so I'm just gonna have Chispa take lead with Luck Incense so I can get lots and lots of money. Because money is nice. So, we're just going to head up to the right here. Oh, I don't know what this does. Behold, the elegant battle style of bird Pokemon! Man, this should be really easy. Electric types against flying types are just, like, really, really good, you know? At least they've always seemed that way to me. Obviously, different types have different type advantages and whatnot. You know, with electric having an advantage over flying, just being one of them. But I've always felt like it had a, like, bigger effect. And maybe I'm wrong, but... Maybe instead of a 1.5 advantage, it's like a 2 times advantage, you know? Could just be me. After all, Spark didn't kill the Swallow there. But it certainly did paralyze it! Ha 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 ha! Bite! Don't heal. Don't heal. Good. In that case, I think this trainer is done. Right? No. Skarmory, okay. For this one... I will switch to Buck, because again, I want Buck to evolve, so hopefully Buck will level up here. Um, if not, maybe the next trainer, or the one after that, but sometime soon. I'm thinking that this should be fine, so we're just gonna Ember it. Knock it out of the sky! Good, one more Ember should do it. Spikes, no problem, I just won't switch my Pokemon. But again, Ember, and then you'll be dead. Good. Come on, level up. Level up, level up, level up. Yeah, ha, ha. Good. Buck grew to level 34. Stat changes, total stats. And fingers crossed that it'll evolve. Let's see. Nope. It's gotta be 36 then. Okay. Hmm. Oh, I see. I see. You can only approach it from one side. Interesting. Alright, well, I will fight you. Winona taught me personally, you can't beat me easily. We'll see about that, small child! I will totally crush you li- There's your head- CRUSHED YOUR HEAD! Okay. I don't know if you can see- I crushed her head. So. Sorry if I crushed your head, by the way. I wasn't- I was just demonstrating. Right, but this one, we will just spark. Oh! And I know, either in the previous video or the one before that, because again, I'm not sure- I'm kind of recording in a bit of bulk here, so I'm not sure where it'll end up. Um, I mentioned that I think, or that I had thought someone mentioned, Chispa was a physical attacker, so try to avoid using special attacks. But if you look, attack is 61, special attack 86, so it's quite the opposite. Um, better with special attack, you know, by a good bit, by like 20 points. So, there we go. That means that Spark isn't as good as Discharge. Um, oh, okay, so just have to go around again. That's a simple one. Okay, oh no, don't fall. I don't want to have to do that again. Mm. Mm. There. Alright. Not overthinking things. I did it. I guess that was just a way to sneak past this trainer. But I want all the experience I can get, you know, before fighting the gym. So I'm totally gonna do this. I've seen that you can fight trainers again, you know, that you just encounter on routes or whatever. 
but I wish that you could refight the ones in the gyms because they're actually, you know, you can tell what level they're gonna be and it's pretty good, consistent experience. Maybe you can refight them. I've actually never tried, I just assumed you could not, but it would be pretty nice, I think. Because it's just like a place where they're all, con you know, collected. The issue would be having to go through the little uh, maze every time. And while we're on that subject, I want to talk just a little bit about my feelings toward the whole gym mazes thing. Um, because I know before I talked about how I felt like they were kind of dumbing them down in this game. And, you know, I still kind of stand by that. But I also think that not every gym should have a maze. I mean, like, think back to red version, blue version, yellow version. Just Brock's gym, right? It was, you know, it was a really fine gym. It was a perfectly fine gym. Because it challenged you and your Pokemon team. Um, and you got to see, you know, you could skip trainers if you wanted to. But you could also take them on for the extra experience. But there was nothing, like, tricky about it. It was just a straight line going up to Brock. Um, and this one, though, like, every gym has to have a theme. And every theme has to have some sort of, like, little, you know, trick with it. Little gimmick sort of deal. And I feel like it's kind of unnecessary, you know? But... You know, it's fine. Some people really like it, so that's cool for them. The love is a bird Pokemon aspire to join this gym. As a member of the 4 gym, I'm not allowed to lose. Actually, I'm pretty sure you are allowed and expected to lose quite often. Otherwise, this would not be a gym. Dodrio. Well, because you're evolved, I will give you the special treatment. What do you say, guys? How about we give him the special treatment? Come on, Chispa, use Discharge! And... That looks so cool because he just like roars and then all the electricity flying everywhere. I really like it. So that dodger goes down. Again, though, Jisoo was going to be like over leveled compared to the rest of the team by the end of this. Going to have to focus on the other ones for a bit after. Uh, I don't want to fall down there. Hmm. What's, what's weird about this bit? Oh, it was just an extra trainer in case you wanted to fight him, I guess. As a bird Pokemon user, I solemnly swear to battle fair and square. Good! That's how all battles should go. I am glad he's learning. Um, Pelipper. Did I use Discharge and Pelipper last time or not? I guess I'll determine this by seeing if I have 13 PP or 14 PP left in the move. If I have 13, I'll use it again. No? So I should just be able to use Spark. Oh yeah, I just kept using Protect. That's why it took so long. But now I'm angry. Discharge! Haha. <laughs> Protect this, stupid. And he's dead. Well, good. Good, good, good. So, money? 2,560. Okay. More money's good. I will take it. And now... Oh, we can't go in there. My bad. I'll just go around this way. Like that. There we go. And here we are. Yeah, that's the top. So we will save as is customary, right? You should all do that. And here we are. Hello, Winona. You look quite distracted there. I am Winona. I am the leader of the Four Tree Pokemon Gym. Good for you. I am Riz, trainer butt kicker. I have become one with bird Pokemon and have soared the skies. Good. However grueling the battle, we will triumph with grace. Uh, oh, I thought you, you're not floating, right? Okay. Witness the elegant choreography of my bird Pokemon and me. An attack! Good. Good, thank you. Uh, the other games, like X and stuff, have trained me to wait for them to keep talking after a climactic note. I should not. I should trust the game again. Just those games, they ruin it because they would always have like a cool line or some sort of finishing line. And then they'd have another one or maybe even another two and it was just so stupid. I, I know I've talked about that before. Alright, Spark. Which won't kill it because we, you know, fought Swellow at the very beginning of the gym and it didn't kill it. And this one's at a higher level, so. But two will definitely do it. I'll actually just buy it at this point. Rise, you're a gym leader, you'll actually heal your Pokemon. Well, that's fine, I'll bite, and then I'll spark. I mean, Cheese was faster, so... You kind of just wasted an item and ex- Oh, except for Quick Attack. Touché, touché. You did a little more damage, that's fair. Then again, if she hadn't used Hyper Potion and just used Quick Attack, the same amount of extra damage would have been done without wasting an item. Alright, well, Altaria, we're going to use Discharge. 
again, just we'll kill it as quickly as possible. Wow! That's some Ah! How do you, of all Pokemon, know Earthquake? You're a flying cloud! How does a flying cloud know Earthquake? That makes no sense, and I will fight it. Honestly, that's stupid in my opinion. Floating cloud. And not just because, you know, my Minectric was knocked out because of it. But I don't see how it happens. Like, the wings are even said to be fluffy. So it's like, what could it have used? It would have to use some kind of psychic to cause an earthquake, and I'm pretty sure Altaria's not psychic. So, Fangrew to level 34! But we'll just have to finish this gym without um, Chispa. Which I guess is doable, especially if we have Pokemon like this coming out, you know, Skarmory. With multiple weaknesses, is what I mean. I just won't be able to use Little Sap here. And the egg, obviously not. So, let's use Flame Charge. I think Ember, no rather, for Buck, I think that special attacks right now are just a little more powerful. But getting up speed would, you know, help. I actually expected Skarmory to be faster, and that's why I did it, but no. At this point, we will use Ember. I don't remember the base attack values for Ember um, versus, like, Flame Charge, but it shouldn't be that significant. Ah, goodbye, Buck. Well, time to send in Peck. We will just use a quick... No, we're going to use an Aerial Ace. Crap. I was going to say, you know, I was expecting to send out Quick Attack so we'd attack first, but I expect Hyper Potion now. No! Okay, well, good. I was worried, too, about Steel-type. You know, like, if Skarmory hadn't fainted, if Hyper Potion had been used, that would have taken a while to get Skarmory back down. But thankfully, no, it didn't go that way. Uh, no? We'll just keep going, I guess. Oh, this is the last Pokemon, so we might as well. Alright, uh, Aerial Ace. Go, go, go! Mm, that wasn't terrible. Ah, oh, now I'm confused. Alright, Focus Energy! Huh? Ow. This isn't going to end well, is it? Oh, oh rub it in, why don't you? Okay. Roost. I never really had the opportunity to use that. I think I only really had it in Pokemon. It was either Pokemon X. I think it was Pokemon X, actually. Either that or Black, as I was saying, and then cut myself off. Um, but yeah, I never really used it because I didn't have a Pokemon, at least my, the same Pokemon in New Roost, didn't also know a move that could confuse or do anything like that. And so every time I would Roost, I would immediately get attacked, and it would just kind of, you know, it would waste it. Kind of like I was talking about with the Hyper Potion that was used earlier, like, nothing really significant happened except you wasted a turn and an item. Alright, this could be interesting. We have Little Sap and Fang left. Hmm. Um, I'm going to leave Little Sap for last, considering, again, Pelipper is a flying type. Water type too, but flying type. So. Um, Ice Fang! I don't know if water will cancel out the super effectiveness. Yes, it does. Now we know, though. Stop doing that! That is annoying. It's very annoying. You need to stop it now. Alright, bite then. Fine. Ah, bloody! Okay, well, we know... Let's see. We know this Pokemon has Protect, um, Water Pulse, Roost. Did it have Air Cutter? Or was that just Skarmory that I'm thinking of? I don't know. But we got it to flinch, so we could just hit it like two more times. Okay, maybe three at this point, actually. It'll die. And then we'll get the gym badge, and then we'll be able to fly! It'll be great. I'll replace... the focus energy, that one. Um, I just already know. No! Don't you dare go over half health! He's kind of over half health, but I guess he didn't quite heal over half health, so I'll let it pass. And, okay, one more. One more, one more, one more. And we're faster, so please don't confuse me. Oh, good. Okay. Bite! Finish off the Pelipper! Ah. Good. <laughs> very, very good. Tired of that. Okay. Never before have I seen a trainer command Pokemon with more grace than I. Good, we got money. 
That would not have gone well had she had six Pokemon, but it would have felt better beating her that way. I recognize your talent and present you with this gym badge. Okay. Oh good, I got a badge. Yay! I believe that's badge number six, I believe. So feather badge, good. With a feather badge, all Pokemon up to level 70, even those received through trades, will obey your every command. You will also be able to use the HM move flying outside of battle. Good. And this, this is a gift from me. Riz obtained DM19 Roost, which I don't think I'll end up using. I think I'd rather have double team than that, I think. Hmm. Roost. With this move, the user can restore its HP by up to half of its max HP. Oh, up to half. Okay. By landing on the ground and resting its injured body. However, the user loses its flying type designation during the turn, so be cautious. Really? I didn't know that. So if you roost, then I guess ground type can hit you. That's really all it means, right? You won against me. I know you'll keep aiming higher and higher. Someday you may even fly up into the sky. That's the impression I get from you. Maybe with a Pokemon. Definitely with a Pokemon. But not, not just me. What else was I going to say? Oh yeah, with Roost. So I'm assuming that means, yeah, ground type moves can hit it. Does that also mean that electric types and like ice types wouldn't be super effective? What sort of flying designation does it lose exactly? That, I'm just curious at this point. Um, but I am going to heal and then we are going to call it. So with all that, <laughs> thanks for watching! I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, of course, feel free to a like, comment, and if you're new, even subscribe. It means a lot. It really helps me out and I would love to have you guys. So, tune in next time for my next video. Until then, take care. Q Outro, go!